Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda and today I am out in my garden and you all, I was telling you all about I was having a problem with the, um, I was calling them the Japanese beetle. But y'all, these are not Japanese beetles. I looked it up and these are called leaf footed bugs. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you all can see them. This is a leaf footed bug. And right now he is camped out on top of one of my tomatoes. And he is not alone, because if I go to the other side, there are more. But that's not the one. He's not, it's, it's not another one on that one. But there is another one right here. They are everywhere. And as I was telling you earlier, they are very aggressive. They will jump on you. And I am just fed up with them. So I am trying to figure out something to uh, get them off of my plants and out of my garden. And I've been Googling it. And that is how I found out what they were because I did not know what uh, kind of bug it was. I was calling it a Japanese beetle. But Japanese beetles don't look anything like that. I did uh, find the picture of the Japanese beetle. But you see, they are, they're ganging up on my fruit in my garden. You see, there's two on that one. And he had the nerve to try to go away like he camera shy. But I am tired of them. They just, uh, let's see, is that, yeah, that's one. And, and like I said, sometimes I can't hardly tell them uh, apart from a wasp when they're flying around because they they uh, fly around and look similar to walls when they're flying. But they are all over my tomatoes. I mean, it's like, they're not even, look, some of them are even uh, mating on my, y'all, these bugs. And that is what's causing these, bug, these um, tomatoes to look like they're looking now. And so I have got to do something to get rid of these pests. And I've been trying to find uh, solutions on Google and um, Google recommended orchid, <laughs> said an orchid, you know. Yeah, but those uh, pesticides that they'll be putting on things in the garden will uh, destroy your beneficial pollinator so you do not want to use anything like that so I want to find something that is going to be natural that will take care of these bugs that will get them out of my garden and it says that if you squish them that they have a really foul smell so I don't want to be squishing them and, and dealing with that but also I saw something else I've been seeing I mean, it's like the pests have just all of a sudden just uh, started coming in. There's something right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know what that is. Let's see which plant is it. I don't know. See it now, but yeah, there is, there are a lot of pests in my garden right now, and they are all looking alike. There are these uh, leaf-footed bugs. So I'm wondering where are the birds at? Why don't they come? I guess they probably don't want to eat them because they uh, smell so bad. So I see that they're all they're in this bed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, remove my tomatoes that are ripe on here because there are some tomatoes that are ripe. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to harvest them. But um, so that's what I'm doing uh, this evening. Is I'm out here and see that was one just flew in and I thought it was a wasp. I mean I've been dodging them because they look like wasps when they're flying and. Uh, I was asking Google if they would bite humans. So they said that they're not too fast, you know, on biting humans. So 
that was a good thing. Now, you know, sometimes Google don't know it all, so I don't want to be finding out the hard way if they bite humans or not. But I mean, they're they're like uh, guarding my tomatoes, like uh, these are, you know. So I am going to figure out something to do to get rid of them. And so while I'm at it, looking at them and trying to figure out a solution, I am also out checking my squash plants to make sure that I don't have any uh, squash uh, vine borers or anything like that. And uh, something has eaten up my poor uh, globe artichoke. I got one decent uh, leaf down in here, but something has eaten it up. So uh, uh, it is supposed to be perennial, I think. So I'm going to uh, just cut it back and see if I can, you know, save the plant. But um, I really would like to up pot this lemon tree. But I don't think that I'm going to do that today. I don't know, I might, it just depends. Because right now it's feeling pretty nice out here. We have been under a heat warning all day. And it said that it was uh, going to be a warning advisory until uh, I think 10 o'clock, nine, 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. So that means that you don't really need to be outside, but it is, it is not feeling that bad right now. And the area where I am is kind of shaded. So it's not like I'm in direct uh, sunlight either. But uh, I want you all to see the beans that I planted, these string beans, I planted a, I don't know, a few, maybe a, two weeks ago, maybe. And they are looking really good. Now this bed is not looking so good. It's not looking as good as this bed. And I planted both of these beds at the same time. But these don't look as good as these. But I don't know. But they are different varieties. And y'all, my um, purple hull peas could be picked again. I could get out here and um, pick some more purple hull peas. I mean, those are just, they are just full of peas. I just need to get out here and I've been picking them, but they are, they are growing. So I, I don't want to, uh, I did have some that had gotten dry, but that's not, you know, a waste because I will be using those for my seeds uh, for the next season, for not, not the fall, but for, I'll plant them in the uh, spring. So that they would not go to waste, but I don't want to, I've got enough uh, dry ones and I have enough to share. So the rest of these I want to harvest for the freezer. So that is what is going to have to happen. I'm going to go ahead and be more um, aggressive on harvesting the purple hub peas. So I may not show you all, all the videos because I know it gets, to be kind of redundant over and over seeing a uh, purple hull pea um, harvest. It may be for some people. Some people might like it. So y'all let me know in the comments if you don't mind seeing me harvest some or more purple hull peas. I won't do a whole video of it. I'll just, you know, like if I'm doing it and I'm doing other things, then, you know, I'll just go ahead and, and put a maybe uh, not so long uh, you know, or I'll speed it up or something. But I also came back out. I was going to check on my um, okra to see if this okra needed to be harvested. And it does appear that it, it can, I can go ahead and harvest some okra. But um, I'm not going to do it on video i am just going to uh, go ahead and harvest that in a little bit but i wanted to check on just making sure that my plants don't have any um hornworms or anything like that because it's so hot in the earlier part of the day that you really cannot uh, just uh you know lounge around out here looking for uh bugs you have to 
try to do it at a time that is uh, cool because you will miss things because you're just so concerned about the heat like I did when I was uh, looking for, uh, I was working on that plant and I didn't realize that the hornworms had taken, uh, I mean, had just almost, uh, they did take advantage of that plant to the point where it was not any good. I had to cut the whole uh, top of the plant off and I didn't realize it until later that it was the hornworms who had did it. Okay. And see, we've got some of these little, they, they're over here also. These are tomato plants, but there are some of those uh, leaf-footed bugs. I don't know why they could name them leaf-footed bugs, but they're in mating season, y'all. That is what they're doing. They're mating. And I, there is some more. I have got to find something to spray on them because they are working my nerves. I just want to spray them right now. If I just have to, I saw, look, there are more. They, they're, um, was uh, one thing I read that said, uh, when I was reading about the Japanese beetles, it said that the Japanese beetles uh, could not stand to be sprayed with uh, soapy water. I am about to go and get some Dawn and mix it up and just spray these little uh, leaf-footed, and they call them leaf-footed nymphs. That's what the uh, one of the descriptions of them was, and I see why. They're just uh, going after it out here, and I am going to have to do something about it because I just, uh, I mean, they have just in a few days kind of like taken over my garden. It make me not even want to eat these tomatoes. <laughs> I'm going to take them in the house. I'm going to put them in some um, veggie wash and let them soak. I may even add some vinegar to the veggie wash and just let my tomatoes so y'all I don't know what this is I don't know if this is something that I planted or if this is a weed y'all if y'all know what this is let me know it looks like a plant and I don't know I don't want to taste it I don't it looks like a plant sometimes I plant something and I mean it has a nice looking root uh, uh, stem on it it doesn't look like nothing that's just uh you know, just some weed, but it could be because some weeds look really good. But y'all, that's what I just want you all to see. And I will let you all know because I am about to go and make up some soapy water and come back out and spray these little nymph uh, buds, leaf-footed nymph buds. And y'all, uh, do y'all's research and see if you can uh, figure out something that will work on them and drop it in the comments or if you know anything that works on them if you've had them before let me know because i am really really i'm, I'm exhausted with them just uh the last couple of days they have just gotten on my nerves <laughs> so y'all let me know and whew, one just got on me just flew on me just like it just flew into me so let me know if you all know anything about these and I will talk to y'all in the next video.